Now, we've come a long way from listening to CDs to having now an endless digital playlist at our fingertips. The downside, music discovery is a solitary pursuit. Our next guest aims to change that. Turntable.fm is a network of online rooms where avatars DJ and battle one another. They've just announced $7 million in funding and today released an iPhone app. We're joined now by Billy Chasen, the CEO. Welcome Hi. to Bloomberg West. Thanks for having me. So, the people who use Turntable FM don't just like it, they love it. But how do you get beyond, you know, those kind of diehard fans to the average music listeners who are now listening to Pandora and Spotify? Sure. Uh, so one of the big things here is that it's actually curated by people. And Pandora's an algorithm. And so we're like the anti-algorithm. We actually allow people to curate the music and, and uh, because you actually have people in the crowd and you feel whether they like the song or not, it makes a very high kind of uh, you know, bar for making sure you play a good song. So what happens is you naturally have this very high level of discovery where you have just great music. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about who is and who isn't backing your company. Um, you did announce that Lady Gaga's manager, Troy Carter, Ga Carter yeah. is behind this. How important is it to get the music industry on board early on? It's very important. And, and uh, so we, we, we don't want to take the same approach as Pandora is using, where uh, they basically are under DMCA non-interactive radio licenses. Uh, but that restricts you just to the US, whereas we want to, we want to grow internationally. And, uh, and so part of that is actually talking with all the labels and, and you know, getting all of those deals and licenses in place. So let's talk about that. A lot of the music business, the online music business, has been kind of do first, ask forgiveness later. Um, Sean Parker, co-founder of Napster, recently said of Turntable, yeah, I think it might not be so legal. Is it legal? I think he, it is, and I think he, there was, there was more to that quote. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't seen it in a while. Um, but. Uh, the main thing here is that right now we do follow the DMCA non-interactive radio uh, rules, which are how many times you can play an artist uh, within a certain time frame, like three times within a four-hour period. And there's lots of other little rules, like how many times you can play it over and over again. So those rules are actually followed. So what kinds of licensing deals are you trying to pursue? Because there are different options, right? Spotify, for example, pays a lot more money to the labels than Pandora does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and they're also trying to be fully interactive. You can basically pick any song you want. Uh, Spotify, actually, I see more as, as a complementary service to what we're doing. They're more, you know, every song is at your fingertips, and we are, we're going to help you with discovery, and we're going to be powered by real people. Um, and so with that, it's, it's, it's different licensing. It's something that hasn't been done before, and that's how come we're talking with the labels right now to try and figure out what, the, what that exactly looks like. So how about that dreaded word, revenue? <laughs> how are you going to make money? Uh, well, from the, obviously, the, the, the easiest thing is that we have discovery. Um, because we promote discovery, and it's really high, we have a lot of click-throughs to iTunes, to Amazon, uh, to actually buy the songs that people are listening to. So that, that already happens. Uh, there's also, because it looks like a game and it's, it's very rich with, with avatars and different things that people can do in this kind of room, uh, there's, there's always the potential for doing things like uh, uh, virtual goods as well as doing things like potentially promotions and, and sponsorships within the rooms. There's a lot of things there. The biggest thing that we want to do right now is just like you said before, we want to get to mainstream. We want to make this not just like early tech adopters, uh, but kind of expand out there. Now college is starting and we want to try and see uh, how they love it as well. Lots of talk about potential integration. Um, any, uh, are you looking to partner with Facebook or Twitter at this point? Is we're, to, we're talking with everyone. I mean, every, everybody's really interested in, and loves what we're doing. We're in the, that fortunate position that, that people really love our service and have really been interacting with it. So you're talking with both Facebook and Twitter? Well, I, you know... I, Does everyone mean both Facebook and Twitter? Well, I mean, they're different companies and they're trying to do different things, but uh, we are talking with, with several companies as well as many music companies as well to see how we can make just the experience better online on listening to music. All right, Turntable CEO Billy Chasen, thanks for joining thanks. us here on Bloomberg West.